Okay guys, I'm going to be talking about my late uh, rear sideburn air build. This is going to be more or less uh, in continuation from my previous uh, build video. The I believe it would be the sideburn rear air build. So I'm going to be talking about how to get your economy up in the late game as well as how to get uh, a nuke and when to get it. So right now the enemy is uh, sending some ASF to my base. What that actually does is it takes out my ASF as they come out of the factory. Why, why is that? Because you know they're pumping with just the one air factory and I'm pumping with two. So naturally they will get a few more ASF than me in the beginning. And what they're gonna do now is they're going to throw in some bombers as well as some T2 fighters. Uh, try to take out my power, but uh, like I said, if you watch my previous build, I explained why I use these shields and I, why I upgrade them. So now, this is going to be a very good demonstration of why this build works, because once your power is taken out, uh, you're basically screwed because you will have basically nothing. You're, you're just totally stopped. Taking out a few mass is not that bad, to be honest. You can just cut your production, but once your powers are gone, I mean, you have to turn everything off. Even then, you still wouldn't be able to support your T3 production. So you're basically screwed. So right now you can see that um, they're sending in some T3 bombers. Uh, just taking out my engineers and my engineering station. But within this uh, shield, I'm still upgrading the uh, T2 max to T3. Uh, so it doesn't really do much and as I see more bombers are coming in so I have to switch to T3AA and as well as upgrading these shields so it really depends on the situation but you can always build more uh, shields as, as needed but uh, try not to get too many because once you get too many it's going to be just a waste of power and you want to save that power because what that actually does later on is you're going to need that power to upgrade your T2 maxes to T3 and that's crucial because in late game if you don't have those T3 max you're not going to be able to pump ASFs so uh, right here what's going on is they're just backing off and my allies uh, building some experimental I think it's a GC and he gave me a few engineers to assist knowing that my economy is just uh, better than his uh, because they're they're spending more on pumping units but uh, what I do is I always uh, spend more uh, for power and max so that's why I have the economy to support uh, all kinds of production as you can see right now my score is the highest even though I really don't have any ASF and they have been keeping my AS, ASF account basically to none but uh, my score just keeps going up um, the reason is that uh, you have all these power and you're upgrading your max at the same time so so right here uh, they're trying to drop me with a few T3s I believe uh, my, my L is very good he um, built some T2 radar uh, on, the shore, on, on the edge of that shore over there so uh, we scouted that and we, took, we have taken care of it so what what my ally is doing now is uh, this is what we always do once we have a bit of air units we always just uh, skim over their base to see what they're doing because that's really important once you know what they're doing then it's really easy to deal with them because once you know that uh, for example if they're building a nuke then you would have to respond with building some you know uh, t3 bombers to strike or if they're building experimentals then you have to build uh, either bombers or building an experimental as well so what i'm doing right now is uh, i'm build i'm just um, upgrading the uh, my engineering stations all of them and i have built i believe two t3 engineers and one transport uh, meanwhile I am upgrading all my mixes to T3 and I have, I have built three more extra T2s on the way when I was upgrading but now I'm going to uh, build some T3 power plants because I'm going to go Hive, uh, Tech 3 Hive so uh, those T3 power plants, the four T3 power plants are absolutely necessary for, um, for assisting with T3 Hives
So my commander has been upgraded to T3 as well. And right now I'm just getting the uh, power plants and I've sent my transport to the middle. Uh, as you can see here, my ally is going to give a few engineers to my other allies. So we can all just uh, chip in building that uh, monkey lord in the middle. So the important thing is you would never have to stop building the uh, ASFs. You have to be always pumping the ASF. So as you can see here, my ally is uh, sending some T2 amphibious tanks over on the shore. But the importance of ASF comes right here because <clears throat> they're sending some T3 uh, gunships and uh, T3 bombers over on this side. So if you don't have the ASFs and if you don't have the air superiority, all the ground units are pretty much useless. Uh, so right here we scouted that uh, the monkey lord has finished on the other side. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to finish uh, the monkey lord in the middle real fast because uh, if we don't do that basically we're gonna lose middle. So as I saw that they're uh, pumping a lot of air so I need to adapt so that's why I'm adding in another two air factories and I'll be adding more engineering stations as well. So as you can see here, all my allies are just uh, uh, going crazy on that uh, monkey lord. And this monkey lord is coming in, so we just managed to finish in time, just managed. And uh, we're, we're doing a pretty good job just keeping it off uh, the shore with some T2 tanks and uh, restorers. And uh, my allies snuck that um, GC over to the, uh, the other enemy shore and we managed to just kill him. Uh, so right here you can see that I am uh, building a tons more uh, engineer stations but the key here is that you have to have the T3 mass uh, upgrades to support this kind of production. So once I get those engineer uh, stations up, I should have at least uh, 5 to 6 T3 mechs and I'm going to upgrade everything to Hive. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna just uh, pump a lot more ASF now because uh, to to uh, to achieve the uh, absolute air superiority. So here's when uh, I'm going to add in the uh, nuke because uh, I see that the more ASF they they pump, it means that they're not doing anything else. They're spending all of their resource on that uh, on, on those air units. So that that is why um, I, I believe. The, uh, the nuke is going to work because they haven't scouted us yet but we know how much uh, they're spending because judging by the size of that air force uh, they pretty much have put all their resources into it so here's where um, uh, both experimentals are going to go down so basically just a stalemate in the middle right now and basically we're just destroying their economy um, we wiped out the uh, white's power plant and uh, so right now I'm just gonna finish up with the engineer stations and then after that uh, I'm going to just assist on that nuke and then it should be just uh, GG because uh, they really haven't scouted us and they have no idea what we're doing so that's a really really big mistake from the other team without scouting you just can't win the game so right now I believe I have around um, uh, 8 or 9 uh, T3 Max so that's quite a lot and you have to put the um, storages around the T3 max to get the bonus for one T3 max with four storages you get around uh, 24 uh, max per second so that that that's a lot so you really have to take advantage of that first before you build the fabricators because the T3 fabs are really really not worth it and they're really expensive just uh, use your mass first and then you build your fabs if necessary but uh, for my games um, mostly I really don't feel the need to use the fabricators as they're just really unnecessary I could pump with um, six or seven uh, air factories without using the fabs but uh, there's only like one or two games where, where I had to use it okay so here we just made a big mistake um, we threw that spider basically away not doing any damage to the other spider so that's really uh, really bad because now my ally is going to die because uh, of my mistake but um, that, that, that's from like um, a week ago or some of this game 
and uh, we we learned a lot from uh, playing these games. So uh, the next few games we played, I always give the uh, control of my spider to to my front uh, player. So right now what I'm doing is uh, I'm scouting their base, just trying to check uh, what they're doing and if they have a nuke defense. So I scouted Red. Uh, he apparently has a high score, so he must uh, be a huge threat. So now I just uh, shoot the nuke at him, and uh, he really doesn't have any nuke defense. Because what I think what he assumed was I was building all the fighters to counter his fighters. But without scowling, so you know, you can't win this game. Okay, so that's basically what you need to do for a late game. That's the basic idea, but uh, there's a lot of adaptation. So. Yeah, I hope you learned something from this commentary and I hope you enjoyed it.